Good morning, this is Alice Holland with Tech and Motor Software. I'm trying to reach Jenny as Human Resource Manager. Is this the exactly department? Yes, it is. How may I help you? I would like to talk to Ms. Jenny about our company's new employee payroll software package. A payroll software package? Is Jenny want you call Ms. Alice Holland? Yes, we were introduced it at the Customer Service Technology Expo last month at London. She gave me her business card and asked me to get in touch. Okay, please hold the line. I will put you through to Jenny now. Good morning. This is Alice Holland with Tech and Motor Software. I'm trying to reach Jenny as Human Resource Manager. Is this the exactly department? Yes, it is. How may I help you? I would like to talk to Ms. Jenny about our company's new employee payroll software package. A payroll software package? Is Jenny want you call Ms. Alice Holland? Yes, we were introduced at the Customer Service Technology Expo last month at London. She gave me her business card and asked me to get in touch. Okay, please hold the line. I will put you through to Jenny now. Good morning. This is Alice Holland with Tech and Motor Software. I'm trying to reach Jenny as Human Resource Manager. Is this the exactly department? Yes, it is. How may I help you? I would like to talk to Ms. Jenny about our company's new employee payroll software package. A payroll software package? Is Jenny want you call Ms. Alice Holland? Yes. We were introduced at the Customer Service Technology Expo last month at London. She gave me her business card and asked me to get in touch. Okay, please hold the line. I will put you through to Jenny now. I'm afraid Mr. Joseph has stepped out. Could you give him a message for me? I have an update version for the coming meeting tomorrow. It is important that he gets it in hand today. Sure, I will see him in about one hour more. Go ahead. Please let him know that his presentation tomorrow should be as shorter as possible. I'd like him to narrow down to 15 minutes. Another speaker has been added to schedule so everyone will cut it down the content and have little time for presentation. Okay, shorten the presentation within 15 minutes. What else? Make sure to ask him to call me back if he has any problems with it. Thanks for passing on the message, Henry. I'm afraid Mr. Joseph has stepped out. Could you give him a message for me? I have an update version for the coming meeting tomorrow. It is important that he gets it in hand today. Sure, I will see him in about one hour more. Go ahead. Please let him know that his presentation tomorrow should be as shorter as possible. I'd like him to narrow down to 15 minutes. Another speaker has been added to schedule so everyone will cut it down the content and have little time for presentation. Okay, shorten the presentation within 15 minutes. What else? Make sure to ask him to call me back if he has any problems with it. Thanks for passing on the message, Henry. I'm afraid Mr. Joseph has stepped out. Could you give him a message for me? I have an update version for the coming meeting tomorrow. It is important that he gets it in hand today. Sure, I will see him in about one hour more. Go ahead. Please let him know that his presentation tomorrow should be as shorter as possible. I'd like him to narrow down to 15 minutes. Another speaker has been added to schedule so everyone will cut it down the content 
and have little time for presentation. Okay, shorten the presentation within 15 minutes. What else? Make sure to ask him to call me back if he has any problems with it. Thanks for passing on the message, Henry. I would like to make an appointment. Can I see David this afternoon? Is he available? Let me see. Yes, he has one opening at 3 o'clock. Please book schedule for me at 3 p.m. Oh, one more thing. Is there parking lot nearby your shop? I always come by shuttle bus, but tomorrow I will drive my car. There would probably be a parking lot right beside the shop. Yes, we have small parking lot beside the shop. Could I get your full name and your contact phone number just in case? Sure, my name is Jessica, and you can reach me at 8430 to 1264. Let me repeat it, your name is Jessica and phone number is 8430 to 1264. And you would like to see David at 3 p.m. tomorrow. Is that correct? Yes, that's right thanks Guy. I would like to make an appointment. Can I see David this afternoon? Is he available? Let me see. Yes, he has one opening at 3 o'clock. Please book schedule for me at 3 p.m. Oh, one more thing. Is there parking lot nearby your shop? I always come by shuttle bus, but tomorrow I will drive my car. There would probably be a parking lot right beside the shop. Yes, we have small parking lot beside the shop. Could I get your full name and your contact phone number just in case? Sure, my name is Jessica, and you can reach me at 8430 to 1264. Let me repeat it, your name is Jessica and phone number is 8430 to 1264. And you would like to see David at 3 p.m. tomorrow. Is that correct? Yes, that's right, thanks, Guy. I would like to make an appointment. Can I see David this afternoon? Is he available? Let me see. Yes, he has one opening at 3 o'clock. Please book schedule for me at 3 p.m. Oh, one more thing. Is there parking lot nearby your shop? I always come by shuttle bus. But tomorrow I will drive my car. There would probably be a parking lot right beside the shop. Yes, we have small parking lot beside the shop. Could I get your full name and your contact phone number just in case? Sure, my name is Jessica, and you can reach me at 8430 to 1264. Let me repeat it. Your name is Jessica and phone number is 8430 to 1264. And you would like to see David at 3 p.m. tomorrow. Is that correct? Yes, that's right. Thanks, Guy. Eric Johansson, speaking. This is Scarlett Samuel. I'm calling about my appointment at 2 p.m. with Mr. Ganason. I'd like to reschedule it for 3 p.m. or 4 p.m. Is that possible? I could get out of office after 4 p.m. Okay, Scarlett. Mr. Ganason is available anytime today. I can book a small meeting room on the seventh floor. That room has no set of projector. Unfortunately, if you require a large meeting room with a projector, you must arrive by 3 p.m. It's okay for me to take small meeting room as I don't use projector for this meeting. Anyway, I'm so sorry for any inconvenient may cause as last minute change. 
I'm afraid urgent case happened. Don't worry, Scarlet. I understand your case. Well, I'm appreciated about it. Thanks so much. Eric Johansson speaking. This is Scarlet Samuel. I'm calling about my appointment at 2 p.m. with Mr. Ganason. I'd like to reschedule it for 3 p.m. or 4 p.m. Is that possible? I could get out of office after 4 p.m. Okay, Scarlet. Mr. Ganason is available anytime today. I can book a small meeting room on the seventh floor. That room has no set of projector. Unfortunately, if you require a large meeting room with a projector, you must arrive by 3 p.m. It's okay for me to take small meeting room as I don't use projector for this meeting. Anyway, I'm so sorry for any inconvenient may cause as last minute change. I'm afraid urgent case happened. Don't worry, Scarlet. I understand your case. Well, I'm appreciated about it. Thanks so much. Eric Johansson speaking. This is Scarlet Samuel. I'm calling about my appointment at 2 p.m. with Mr. Ganason. I'd like to reschedule it for 3 p.m. or 4 p.m. Is that possible? I could get out of office after 4 p.m. Okay, Scarlet. Mr. Ganason is available anytime today. I can book a small meeting room on the seventh floor. That room has no set of projector. Unfortunately, if you require a large meeting room with a projector, you must arrive by 3 p.m. It's okay for me to take small meeting room as I don't use projector for this meeting. Anyway, I'm so sorry for any inconvenient may cause as last minute change. I'm afraid urgent case happened. Don't worry, Scarlet. I understand your case. Well, I'm appreciated about it. Thanks so much. Hi, Mickey. It is Simon speaking. I am wondering whether you're available for the meeting on Thursday at 2 p.m. Sure. I don't have anything special meeting arranged on that day. So, what exactly did you have in mind? I'd like to talk about the advertising budget for the coming year. This time we went over budget, and I want to make sure it doesn't happen again. In this case, I think Tony from the accounting department may join our meeting for more ideas. He is typically very helpful when it comes to budgeting. Good idea, but I have to leave the office right now to pay a visit to customer. Could you please contact Tony on my behalf and inquire as to what time he is available on Thursday? Then send me an email with timeline that we can all meet. Okay. Then you'll hear from me soon. Hi, Mickey. It is Simon speaking. I am wondering whether you're available for the meeting on Thursday at 2 p.m. Sure. I don't have anything special meeting arranged on that day. So, what exactly did you have in mind? I'd like to talk about the advertising budget for the coming year. This time we went over budget, and I want to make sure it doesn't happen again. In this case, I think Tony from the accounting department may join our meeting for more ideas. He is typically very helpful when it comes to budgeting. Good idea, but I have to leave the office right now to pay a visit to customer. Could you please contact Tony on my behalf and inquire as to what time he is available on Thursday? Then send me an email with timeline that we can all meet. Okay. Then you'll hear from me soon. Hi, Mickey. It is Simon speaking. I am wondering whether you're available for the meeting on Thursday at 2 p.m. Sure. 
I don't have anything special meeting arranged on that day. So, what exactly did you have in mind? I'd like to talk about the advertising budget for the coming year. This time we went over budget, and I want to make sure it doesn't happen again. In this case, I think Tony from the accounting department may join our meeting for more ideas. He is typically very helpful when it comes to budgeting. Good idea, but I have to leave the office right now to pay a visit to customer. Could you please contact Tony on my behalf and inquire as to what time he is available on Thursday? Then send me an email with timeline that we can all meet. Okay. Then you'll hear from me soon. Why don't we get started now that we're all here? We've come to talk about how we can improve our company's website, as you know. We have hired 5 Start Design to upgrade the site. The guy is helping us named Bruce Cohen from 5 Start Design as well as a few other team members, Albie and Nikki. Good morning, Nikki. You get to know everyone here already? No, there are a couple of people I've never met before. Maybe we should all introduce ourselves first. I'll start us off with your suggestion. I'm Kathy, the brand manager here at Florida Instruments. I'm in charge of all public communications, including the website's content. Bruce Cohen, how about you? To those who are unfamiliar with my name, Five Start Design is my company, and I'm the creative director. I oversee the design work of our graphic team. Why don't we get started now that we're all here? We've come to talk about how we can improve our company's website, as you know. We have hired 5 Start Design to upgrade the site. The guy is helping us named Bruce Cohen from 5 Start Design as well as a few other team members, Albie and Nikki. Good morning, Nikki. You get to know everyone here already? No. There are a couple of people I've never met before. Maybe we should all introduce ourselves first. I'll start us off with your suggestion. I'm Kathy, the brand manager here at Florida Instruments. I'm in charge of all public communications, including the website's content. Bruce Cohen, how about you? To those who are unfamiliar with my name, Five Start Design is my company, and I'm the creative director. I oversee the design work of our graphic team. Why don't we get started now that we're all here? We've come to talk about how we can improve our company's website, as you know. We have hired 5 Start Design to upgrade the site. The guy is helping us named Bruce Cohen from 5 Start Design as well as a few other team members, Albie and Nikki. Good morning, Nikki. You get to know everyone here already? No, there are a couple of people I've never met before. Maybe we should all introduce ourselves first. I'll start us off with your suggestion. I'm Kathy, the brand manager here at Florida Instruments. I'm in charge of all public communications, including the website's content. Bruce Cohen, how about you? To those who are unfamiliar with my name, Five Start Design is my company, and I'm the creative director. I oversee the design work of our graphic team. Why don't we get started now that we're all here? We've come to talk about how we can improve our company's website, as you know. We have hired 5 Start Design to upgrade the site. The guy is helping us named Bruce Cohen from 5 Start Design as well as a few other team members, 
Alby and Nikki. Good morning, Nikki. You get to know everyone here already? No, there are a couple of people I've never met before. Maybe we should all introduce ourselves first. I'll start us off with your suggestion. I'm Kathy, the brand manager here at Florida Instruments. I'm in charge of all public communications, including the website's content. Bruce Cohen, how about you? To those who are unfamiliar with my name, Five Start Design is my company, and I'm the creative director. I oversee the design work of our graphic team. Let's move on to the next item on the agenda, which is our annual research conference, assuming there are no more queries about the preceding problem. Could you give me an update on that, Bruce? The conference will take place over two days in early September, as it does every year, featuring workshops, presentations, and networking opportunities. This year, we had to relocate it to a different location. The Park Hyatt Hotel, which can accommodate up to 300 guests, is where we will be staying. Are you implying that larger number of people will be attending this year? Yes, the conference has grown in popularity year after year. And this year, we also sent out the invitations to more people of this year. Does this imply that the expense of running it this year was higher? That's true. This year's budget is 50% bigger than last year's. Let's move on to the next item on the agenda, which is our annual research conference, assuming there are no more queries about the preceding problem. Could you give me an update on that, Bruce? The conference will take place over two days in early September, as it does every year, featuring workshops, presentations, and networking opportunities. This year, we had to relocate it to a different location. The Park Hyatt Hotel, which can accommodate up to 300 guests, is where we will be staying. Are you implying that larger number of people will be attending this year? Yes, the conference has grown in popularity year after year. And this year, we also sent out the invitations to more people of this year. Does this imply that the expense of running it this year was higher? That's true. This year's budget is 50% bigger than last year's. Let's move on to the next item on the agenda, which is our annual research conference, assuming there are no more queries about the preceding problem. Could you give me an update on that, Bruce? The conference will take place over two days in early September, as it does every year, featuring workshops, presentations, and networking opportunities. This year, we had to relocate it to a different location. The Park Hyatt Hotel, which can accommodate up to 300 guests, is where we will be staying. Are you implying that larger number of people will be attending this year? Yes, the conference has grown in popularity year after year. And this year, we also sent out the invitations to more people of this year. Does this imply that the expense of running it this year was higher? That's true. This year's budget is 50% bigger than last year's. Let's move on to the final issue on today's agenda which is the scheduling of our next management meeting. Sorry for interrupting, Kathy, but...
but there was something else I wanted to talk about today. Is there any time left until the meeting ends? Sure, Bruce, let's deal with that first, and then we'll figure out when the next meeting will be. What exactly did you want to discuss? I'd like to speak with you about the topic of office supplies. It has come to my attention that certain employees have been purchasing supplies without first filling out the purchase form. For every purchase, no matter how minor, a form must be submitted to the accounting department. Actually, accounting brought it up to me as well. Consider issuing a note to all employees to remind them of the proper procedure. That's fine. I'll take care of it by the end of the day. Let's move on to the final issue on today's agenda, which is the scheduling of our next management meeting. Let's move on to the final issue on today's agenda, which is the scheduling of our next management meeting. Sorry for interrupting Kathy, but there was something else I wanted to talk about today. Is there any time left until the meeting ends? Sure, Bruce, let's deal with that first and then we'll figure out when the next meeting will be. What exactly did you want to discuss? I'd like to speak with you about the topic of office supplies. It has come to my attention that certain employees have been purchasing supplies without first filling out the purchase form. For every purchase, no matter how minor, a form must be submitted to the accounting department. Actually, accounting brought it up to me as well. Consider issuing a note to all employees to remind them of the proper procedure. That's fine. I'll take care of it by the end of the day. Let's move on to the final issue on today's agenda, which is the scheduling of our next management meeting. Sorry for interrupting, Kathy, but there was something else I wanted to talk about today. Is there any time left until the meeting ends? Sure, Bruce. Let's deal with that first, and then we'll figure out when the next meeting will be. What exactly did you want to discuss? I'd like to speak with you about the topic of office supplies. It has come to my attention that certain employees have been purchasing supplies without first filling out the purchase form. For every purchase, no matter how minor, a form must be submitted to the accounting department. Actually, accounting brought it up to me as well. Consider issuing a note to all employees to remind them of the proper procedure. That's fine. I'll take care of it by the end of the day. Today, I'd like to ask everyone's opinion on how we should advertise our new soft drink. Please have a look at the market team's idea design. I'd like your honest opinion on what you think. Your entire concept appeals to me. It has a lot of movement and is quite appealing. It is suitable with our company's image. Teenagers and people in their 20s are the target market for the new product. Keep it in your mind, how do you feel about the color scheme? To be honest, the background colors seem a little bland. Perhaps a stronger contrast could be using white color. I'd also increase the size of the material. I should be simple to read at a glance. Today, I'd like to ask everyone's opinion on how we should advertise our new soft drink. Please have a look at the market team's idea design. I'd like your honest opinion on what you think. Teenagers and people in their 20s are the target market for the new product. Keep it in your mind, how do you feel about the color scheme? To be honest, the background colors seem a little bland. Perhaps a stronger contrast could be using white color. I'd also increase the size of the material. I should be simple to read at a glance. 
Today, I'd like to ask everyone's opinion on how we should advertise our new soft drink. Please have a look at the market team's idea design. I'd like your honest opinion on what you think. Teenagers and people in their 20s are the target market for the new product. Keep it in your mind. How do you feel about the color scheme? Your entire concept appeals to me. It has a lot of movement and is quite appealing. It is suitable with our company's image. To be honest, the background colors seem a little bland. Perhaps a stronger contrast could be using white color. I'd also increase the size of the material. I should be simple to read at a glance. Good morning, thank you for coming, Kathy. I hope you don't have any difficulty finding our office. Actually, the instructions you provided us with were excellent. Despite the bad traffic, we were able to locate your office without difficulty. I'm relieved to hear everything worked out. Why don't we begin with a brief introduction? Judy Leon is our head of research and development. My name is Sarah Meigel, and I'm the managing director of Primex Brain. It's nice to meet you. I'm David Grahan as general manager of Architon Aisley, and this is our marketing director Emma Anderson. Nice meeting you. So, before we get started on the schedule, we have a lot to talk about this morning. Please feel free to have a drink in the corner. Tea and freshly brewed coffee are available. That's extremely thoughtful of you. I'd like to have a cup of coffee. Good morning, thank you for coming, Kathy. I hope you don't have any difficulty finding our office. Actually, the instructions you provided us with were excellent. Despite the bad traffic, we were able to locate your office without difficulty. I'm relieved to hear everything worked out. Why don't we begin with a brief introduction? Judy Leon is our Head of Research and Development. My name is Sarah Meigel, and I'm the Managing Director of Primex Brain. It's nice to meet you. I'm David Grahan as General Manager of Architon Aisley, and this is our Marketing Director Emma Anderson. Nice meeting you. So, before we get started on the schedule, we have a lot to talk about this morning. Please feel free to have a drink in the corner. Tea and freshly brewed coffee are available. That's extremely thoughtful of you. I'd like to have a cup of coffee. Good morning. Thank you for coming, Kathy. I hope you don't have any difficulty finding our office. Actually, the instructions you provided us with were excellent. Despite the bad traffic, we were able to locate your office without difficulty. I'm relieved to hear everything worked out. Why don't we begin with a brief introduction? Judy Leon is our head of research and development. My name is Sarah Meigel, and I'm the managing director of Primex Brain. It's nice to meet you. I'm David Grahan as General Manager of Architon Aisley, and this is our Marketing Director Emma Anderson. Nice meeting you. So, before we get started on the schedule, we have a lot to talk about this morning. Please feel free to have a drink in the corner. Tea and freshly brewed coffee are available. That's extremely thoughtful of you. I'd like to have a cup of coffee.
The main goal of this discussion is to talk about how our companies could collaborate. We believe you are an excellent option for carrying our products. I'm hoping that by the end of this meeting, we'll have a tentative agreement to sell goods to our retailers. This is our brand manager, Frederick Brandy. During the meeting, he will be taking notes. He'll also be able to answer any questions you have concerning regional promotions. I suppose you've met our design manager, Edward Brown. I'd like to invite him to speak a few words about what he hopes to achieve in this market once we get started. That would be fantastic. It's great to see you again, Edward. If you don't mind, I'd like to go over the issues on our agenda for today's meeting. There are a few things to talk about. The main goal of this discussion is to talk about how our companies could collaborate. We believe you are an excellent option for carrying our products. I'm hoping that by the end of this meeting, we'll have a tentative agreement to sell goods to our retailers. This is our brand manager, Frederick Brandy. During the meeting, he will be taking notes. He'll also be able to answer any questions you have concerning regional promotions. I suppose you've met our design manager, Edward Brown. I'd like to invite him to speak a few words about what he hopes to achieve in this market once we get started. That would be fantastic. It's great to see you again, Edward. If you don't mind, I'd like to go over the issues on our agenda for today's meeting. There are a few things to talk about. The main goal of this discussion is to talk about how our companies could collaborate. We believe you are an excellent option for carrying our products. I'm hoping that by the end of this meeting, we'll have a tentative agreement to sell our goods to our retailers. This is our brand manager, Frederick Brandy. During the meeting, he will be taking notes. He'll also be able to answer any questions you have concerning regional promotions. I suppose you've met our design manager, Edward Brown. I'd like to invite him to speak a few words about what he hopes to achieve in this market once we get started. That would be fantastic. It's great to see you again, Edward. If you don't mind, I'd like to go over the issues on our agenda for today's meeting. There are a few things to talk about. Great. How about we get this meeting started? What is the status of your weekly training course cancellation? Can we create other session in case your employee get a scheduled conflict? Yes, if you cancel at least 48 hours in advance, there is no charge for a makeup session. To put it another way, the training session on Wednesday evening has been rescheduled. At least, you'd have to cancel it by Monday evening. We were able to cancel on shorter notice with our alternative training suppliers. Could you accommodate a request for a rescheduling if we phone the day before the session? It would be okay if you called us by noon the day in advance. Okay, can we go over the terms of the agreement so far? The sessions for the next 24 weeks will be paid for by us. They will be held at my office on Wednesday from 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. If we phone our office by Tuesday at noon, we can reschedule. Is that correct? That's deal. What is the status of your weekly training course cancellation? Can we create other session in case your employee get a scheduled conflict? Yes, if you cancel at least 48 hours in advance. There is no charge for a makeup session. To put it another way, the training session on Wednesday evening has been rescheduled. 
At least, you'd have to cancel it by Monday evening. We were able to cancel on shorter notice with our alternative training suppliers. Could you accommodate a request for a rescheduling if we phone the day before the session? It would be okay if you called us by noon the day in advance. Okay, can we go over the terms of the agreement so far? The sessions for the next 24 weeks will be paid for by us. They will be held at my office on Wednesday from 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. If we phone our office by Tuesday at noon, we can reschedule. Is that correct? That's deal. What is the status of your weekly training course cancellation? Can we create other session in case your employee get a schedule conflict? Yes, if you cancel at least 48 hours in advance, there is no charge for a makeup session. To put it another way, the training session on Wednesday evening has been rescheduled. At least, you'd have to cancel it by Monday evening. We were able to cancel on shorter notice with our alternative training suppliers. Could you accommodate a request for a rescheduling if we phone the day before the session? It would be okay if you called us by noon the day in advance. Okay, can we go over the terms of the agreement so far? The sessions for the next 24 weeks will be paid for by us. They will be held at my office on Wednesday from 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. If we phone our office by Tuesday at noon, we can reschedule. Is that correct? That's deal. understand you need to cut costs, but I'm afraid you'll have to settle for a lower price. And you'll get the good deal from any of our clients. Over the next five years, we want to increase our revenue by 20%. What if the side of our order was increased? Would that be posable? That wouldn't make a difference. The cost of ingredients and shipping is a problem for us. They increase higher yearly. I see. I'd want to make a proposal. Our Indian subsidiary manufactures sugar at a very low cost. I propose that they supply your sugar at a lower price than market. I can agree with that if we can reduce our sugar expenses by 10% and you rise up our order, we may offer you a 5% discount. I believe that is feasible. I understand you need to cut costs, but I'm afraid you'll have to settle for a lower price. And you'll get the good deal from any of our clients. Over the next five years, we want to increase our revenue by 20%. What if the side of our order was increased? Would that be posable? That wouldn't make a difference. The cost of ingredients and shipping is a problem for us. They increase higher yearly. I see. I'd want to make a proposal. Our Indian subsidiary manufactures sugar at a very low cost. I propose that they supply your sugar at a lower price than market. I can agree with that if we can reduce our sugar expenses by 10% and you rise up our order, we may offer you a 5% discount. I believe that is feasible. I understand you need to cut costs, but I'm afraid you'll have to settle for a lower price. And you'll get the good deal from any of our clients. Over the next five years, we want to increase our revenue by 20%. What if the side of our order was increased? Would that be posable? That wouldn't make a difference. The cost of ingredients and shipping is a problem for us. They increase higher yearly. I see. I'd want to make a proposal. 
Our Indian subsidiary manufactures sugar at a very low cost. I propose that they supply your sugar at a lower price than market. I can agree with that if we can reduce our sugar expenses by 10% and you rise up our order, we may offer you a 5% discount. I believe that is feasible. Our standard business software package is $46 per user, but if you buy 300 or more licenses, the price drops to $38 per person. Only 87 people work for us. However, we have a limited budget for this transaction. The bottom line is this, we can't afford to pay more than $42 for each license. We count as many as 100 licenses in your situation of 87 people, we would charge a high monthly fee. That way, if your firm acquires a few more people, you won't have to buy more licenses. That might work. How much would that cost? A two-year description costs $250 for each month. That's totally out of the question. We'd have to pay even more in the end. Our standard business software package is $46 per user, but if you buy 300 or more licenses, the price drops to $38 per person. Only 87 people work for us. However, we have a limited budget for this transaction. The bottom line is this, we can't afford to pay more than $42 for each license. We count as many as 100 licenses in your situation of 87 people, we would charge a high monthly fee. That way, if your firm acquires a few more people, you won't have to buy more licenses. That might work. How much would that cost? A two-year description costs $250 for each month. That's totally out of the question. We'd have to pay even more in the end. Our standard business software package is $46 per user, but if you buy 300 or more licenses, the price drops to $38 per person. Only 87 people work for us. However, we have a limited budget for this transaction. The bottom line is this. We can't afford to pay more than $42 for each license. We count as many as 100 licenses in your situation of 87 people. We would charge a high monthly fee. That way, if your firm acquires a few more people, you won't have to buy more licenses. That might work. How much would that cost? A two-year description costs $250 for each month. That's totally out of the question. We'd have to pay even more in the end. Hi Douglas, I'm Finley. Thank you for taking the time to meet me today. It's great to meet you, and I appreciate you stopping by. The delivery truck you're looking for is parked in front of the house. Have you had a chance to take a look? It's just what my company requires. I would like to make you an offer of $4,300 US dollars for it. Someone had given me a better offer via email about a half hour before. In addition, I was hoping to earn at least $5,500 for it. That's a little high for us, but I'd be willing to pay up to $4,700 USD. However, that is my last offer. Of course, before I pay for it, I have to take it for a test drive. Of course, if you want to take it off my hands today, I'll tell you what. That's deal for $4,700 USD. 
please take the key here. Hi Douglas, I'm Finley. Thank you for taking the time to meet me today. It's great to meet you, and I appreciate you stopping by. The delivery truck you're looking for is parked in front of the house. Have you had a chance to take a look? It's just what my company requires. I would like to make you an offer of 4,300 US dollars for it. Someone had given me a better offer by an email about a half hour before. In addition, I was hoping to earn at least $5,500 for it. That's a little high for us, but I'd be willing to pay up to $4,700 USD. However, that is my last offer. Of course, before I pay for it, I have to take it for a test drive. Of course, if you want to take it off my hands today, I'll tell you what. That's deal for $4,700 USD. Please take the key here. Hi Douglas, I'm Finley. Thank you for taking the time to meet me today. It's great to meet you, and I appreciate you stopping by. The delivery truck you're looking for is parked in front of the house. Have you had a chance to take a look? It's just what my company requires. I would like to make you an offer of 4,300 US dollars for it. Someone had given me a better offer by an email about a half hour before. In addition, I was hoping to earn at least $5,500 for it. That's a little high for us, but I'd be willing to pay up to $4,700. However, that is my last offer. Of course, before I pay for it, I have to take it for a test drive. Of course, if you want to take it off my hands today, I'll tell you what. That's deal for $4,700. Please take the key here. Hi Casey, it's Calvin at Aluminum Kitchen Cookware Company. I'm calling again to check if you've decided on our proposal. Hello, Calvin. Your refrigerators would be a great addition to our store. We don't have a lot of warehouse space. We're concerned that they'll take up too much space. Would you be willing to cover some of the additional storage costs? Unfortunately, that will not be possible. We've already offered you the amount of price reduction. On top of that, we can't afford to pay for storage. Could you still give us a 20% discount if we bought two units rather than 50? We can place the order if you are prepared to reduce the quantity. Normally, I would not offer such a little discount for such a small order. However, this time I make an exception for you. I absolutely appreciate your flexibility. It's fantastic. Hi, Casey. It's Calvin at Aluminum Kitchen Cookware Company. I'm calling again to check if you've decided on our proposal. Hello, Calvin. Your refrigerators would be a great addition to our store. We don't have a lot of warehouse space. We're concerned that they'll take up too much space. Would you be willing to cover some of the additional storage costs? Unfortunately, that will not be possible. We've already offered you the amount of price reduction. On top of that, we can't afford to pay for storage. Could you still give us a 20% discount if we bought two units rather than 50? We can place the order if you are prepared to reduce the quantity. Normally, I would not offer such a little discount for such a small order. However, this time I make an exception for you. I absolutely appreciate your flexibility. It's fantastic. Hi, Casey. It's Calvin at Aluminum Kitchen Cookware Company. I'm calling again to check if you've decided on our proposal. Hello, Calvin. Your refrigerators would be a great addition to our store. 
We don't have a lot of warehouse space. We're concerned that they'll take up too much space. Would you be willing to cover some of the additional storage costs? Unfortunately, that will not be possible. We've already offered you the amount of price reduction. On top of that, we can't afford to pay for storage. Could you still give us a 20% discount if we bought two units rather than 50? We can place the order if you are prepared to reduce the quantity. Normally, I would not offer such a little discount for such a small order. However, this time I make an exception for you. I absolutely appreciate your flexibility. It's fantastic. I believe we agreed on the major matter, therefore I'd want to go through them again. Right, we'll pay you $45 to do a survey comparing our store to those of Seattle's other major supermarkets. 700 people are interviewed for 20 minutes for each. By March 1st, you'll have completed the questionnaire, completed all interviews by March 30th, and submitted a thorough report by May 5th. Is there anything else you want to say? I'd just like to double-check what we agreed on in terms of paying bonuses. If you are able to submit the report on time, we will offer you a 15% incentive. Within 30 days of receiving the report, we will make a single payment on your account. Bryant, I believe that covers everything. So, are we going to call it a day? Sounds okay. I'll put the contract together tomorrow and fax it to you for signature. I believe we agreed on the major matter, therefore I'd want to go through them again. Right, we'll pay you $45 to do a survey comparing our store to those of Seattle's other major supermarkets. 700 people are interviewed for 20 minutes for each. By March 1st, you'll have completed the questionnaire, completed all interviews by March 30th, and submitted a thorough report by May 5th. Is there anything else you want to say? I'd just like to double-check what we agreed on in terms of paying bonuses. If you are able to submit the report on time, we will offer you a 15% incentive. Within 30 days of receiving the report, we will make a single payment on your account. Bryant, yeah. I believe that covers everything. So, are we going to call it a day? Sounds okay. I'll put the contract together tomorrow and fax it to you for signature. I believe we agreed on the major matter, therefore I'd want to go through them again. Right, we'll pay you $45 to do a survey comparing our store to those of Seattle's other major supermarkets. 700 people are interviewed for 20 minutes for each. By March 1st, you'll have completed the questionnaire. Completed all interviews by March 30th, and submitted a thorough report by May 5th. Is there anything else you want to say? I'd just like to double-check what we agreed on in terms of paying bonuses. If you are able to submit the report on time, we will offer you a 15% incentive. Within 30 days of receiving the report, we will make a single payment on your account. Bryant, I believe that covers everything. So, are we going to call it a day? Sounds okay. I'll put the contract together tomorrow and fax it to you for signature. Hello everyone, I'm Isabella Flores as Environment Health Safety Manager.
and I'm here to discuss some lab safety standards today. There have been multiple incidents recently at MSA Safety Global Company when regulations have been disregarded. Although no one was hurt, the incident was recorded in order to prevent such occurrences in the future. It is important that we comply to the rules. First, let's have a look at the visiting regulations. Most essential, please keep in mind that visitors do not allowed to come into the lab unless they have a pass. When entering the building, a pass may be obtained at reception. In addition, you always wear protective clothing and be accompanied by an employee. This is critical because if visitors are not watched, they may damage themselves or others. Let's go on to the next subject immediately, unless there are any questions. Hello everyone, I'm Isabella Flores as Environment Health Safety Manager, and I'm here to discuss some lab safety standards today. There have been multiple incidents recently at MSA Safety Global Company when regulations have been disregarded. Although no one was hurt, the incident was recorded in order to prevent such occurrences in the future. It is important that we comply to the rules. First, let's have a look at the visiting regulations. Most essential, please keep in mind that visitors do not allowed to come into the lab unless they have a pass. When entering the building, a pass may be obtained at reception. In addition, you always wear protective clothing and be accompanied by an employee. This is critical because if visitors are not watched, they may damage themselves or others. Let's go on to the next subject immediately, unless there are any questions. Hello everyone, I'm Isabella Flores as Environment Health Safety Manager and I'm here to discuss some lab safety standards today. There have been multiple incidents recently at MSA Safety Global Company when regulations have been disregarded. Although no one was hurt, the incident was recorded in order to prevent such occurrences in the future. It is important that we comply to the rules. First, let's have a look at the visiting regulations. Most essential, please keep in mind that visitors do not allowed to come into the lab unless they have a pass. When entering the building, a pass may be obtained at reception. In addition, you always wear protective clothing and be accompanied by an employee. This is critical because if visitors are not watched, they may damage themselves or others. Let's go on to the next subject immediately, unless there are any questions.